guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is z and in this channel i do everything from vlogs to skincare to hair care but today i'll be taking you to benin city yes the ancient city of benin we'll be exploring what this city looks like after close to four years of being here or five years we're currently at bypass bypass you know everyone who wants to get into benin has to go through this route um this is the bypass that also takes you towards lagos i mean bypass is quite popular if you ask me um by i don't even know why it's called a bypass if you know kindly let us know in the comment section why it's known as bypass so benin um if for those of you who didn't who don't know um i'm i am an alumni of the benson idahosa university um i'm a graduate of law from that university so i schooled here for five good years of my life benin brings back good and bad memories but in all it brings back memories so i was actually so aesthetic when i knew i was going to come here for my friend's wedding and yeah benin like i used to pass through this route every time i was coming back to school sometimes with tears sometimes with laughter that oh yeah we're coming back so this is the nigerian um storage and pipeline and storage company it's um um has an affiliation or is owned by nmpc i really don't know the facts but this is what it is and this is where it is situated here in in benin it acts like towards the outskirts of benin so for me i have always thought that benin is more like a compact city like because of how the houses are clustered especially in the um in the um rural areas in the gras in the urban areas i feel like they're more spaced and outlined but in the urban areas they're like a cluster of people living together for you people that don't know benin asian city of benin um i think it was the last colony um or it was the last to be um colonized or it was the last to be conquered and the people of benin are ruled by just one king and that is the oba of benin so benin has a lot of cultures and traditions very very complex i mean when i was here oh that's the hotel doris did i always used to see that hotel when i was coming when we were here we had a lot of traditions a lot of things are uh, going out in benin then was crazy there was a time when they said oh the oba died and there were some rituals that had to be done and some things so women should not go to the market or something like benin has a lot of traditions why i love them is that they are the custodians of their cultures like they adhere strictly to their cultures and their tribe their attire is beautiful their brides are like adorned in beads like very gorgeous beads then i love the attire of their groom when they are getting married it's actually quite aesthetic and very beautiful the richness of the culture alone will make you love the people the language their food mm, why their food doesn't quite resonate with me um i think they try a bit you know they are black soup i mean the presentation for me i would not eat it because of even the name black soup but i do love their um yam and garden egg sauce i don't know if it originates from here but their starch and banga too i haven't quite settled in to have that but they are pepper rice like pepper rice benin and pepper rice my maple rice i must eat this rice before i leave this place so because i mean i've been craving it then matais if you've been in benin and you don't know what matais is matais is like the likes of um kilimanjaro and the rest but it's quite popular in benin and it's quite popular for their ice cream their ice cream so they have gt food they have matais those are like they're very popular um popular fast food so we're going towards the park that's um god is good park at apapava from there i'll um take um uber to my hotel room so like i said benin is more like a cluster for me and i've just gotten to the park i'm here um i'm waiting for the uber guy to come get me so i can go to the hotel every other city in the world you'll see the dichotomy between the rich and the poor in benin as well so you have the gra the that's the the where the bourgeoisies where the elites where the 
people that be living and then you have like the normal place where commoners where other people live in you will notice that the change in both structure infrastructure but um development everything sort of it's it, it reminds you again it reminds you again that there is indeed a hierarchy in this life between the rich and the poor <laughs> oh amazing so like i said um benin is quite um for me, for the most part, it's more compact um, than any other city I've been in. It's actually quite compact for me. The roads are narrower. The roads are tinier compared to other cities. The houses are almost in the roads. You could see people's living areas from the road. Like, that's how compact it is. They don't have, like, fences, especially in the um, um, rural areas right they don't have a lot of fences around their homes even if they have they have like dwarf walls all those sort of things so let's just get to the main part of the being thing or just let you enjoy the music or the view <laughs>
Benin and the very first thing I did was come to Wamo bakeries. It's a Wamo Chinese bakeries. God, I love oh I loved their sponge cakes. Oh my god, this place brings back memories. Like you can see a variety of pastries, their cakes are amazing. I love their sponge cakes. Like I've been craving it since I knew that I was going to come to Benin and I knew I had to get especially this one. That pink, yellow and pink one is my favorite. So I got a bunch and that's it. It just brings back memories here again. Like I love their cake so much and it's so inexpensive and so rich. I remember going to shop right in the way and i wanted to punch cake and i got it but two thousand naira it was it was it was it was a waste so their, their their cakes are really nice i love their sponge cakes it's not too sugary it's not um sour as well it's just the right amount of everything and for the price it's okay so one more brings back memories so let's continue with our journey so i can go rest my back oh more it's not easy. Oh. Hmm. Traveling by road in Nigeria, I'll give you all the gist in my subsequent videos, as always. Deep in the dark, down on my knees, I've seen things that you wouldn't believe. I was lost. Till I found that I'm invincible, nobody gon' bring me down. Here we go.
in the hotel room now chilling i'm going to switch up my outfit refresh freshen up rather and then i'm off to my friend's bridal shower oh it's been an awesome ride so i've had my one more cake like i've been craving this cake forever forever i've been craving it so you mean i got to benin that was my first spot of call i didn't even care if I would go, I like before I got to the hotel. When I got, got um, Uber, I just told the guy that before taking me to the hotel, she take me to one more. I have to get this cake. Like, hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe, share, like, and leave me a comment.